gear for this evening, guys. Yeah. Uh, and as even before it got dark, which is even nicer. My brain is just not, I just don't like dark particularly. I haven't done it for a while, but it has a secret pose. How difficult would it be to add some lights to it? Camera, camera. So, I don't expect the lens of that, but I just want to capture the video so that I'm not really doing what I do. I'm going to take it off the track on there, while it's uh, at a learning stage. Now I loosen up the screw mm. to give it a wiggle. Here it ends. That's in Jenny too, I don't want to break this model. Even though it was 25 quid, I mean that's not really an excuse to break a model really. Because 25 quid at the end of the day is still not the most of keepers of trains, especially when you're on a really tight budget. <laughs> I used to have fun with this when I was younger. The roof on this model when I first got a Triumph, Triumph Class 81 unit. Um, oh. oh, roof weights. That's cool. Uh, probably should keep that in there. Just uh, put that roof back on. I'm going to ruin the uh, body work. But anyway, he's actually in quite a mint condition for his age. Just taking a look in the engine bay. So yeah, so that's how. That's all. And uh, once I've checked it all over, I put everything back together. And we're good to go again. I'm not going to do full detail, you know, basically, yeah. Uh, Itself. It's got a little bit of whisking going on, but again, I understand why Triumph and Hornby works with an engine system. You can hear whistling a little bit, but I think that's more the engine pair itself. Well. I think that's a bit of a race. You just have to maintain your engine well. Maintain it by cleaning it, oil it, and just keep it running. Because once you oil it and cleaned it, especially when you oil it, give it a good 25 minutes of extraction for a while. You let it out for the first few minutes, and it's just you know, like the car I'm looking at getting, between the two cars I'm looking at getting, a smart car, which is probably the principal option, and I'm also looking for it. I was looking at a Merc, which might be a possible too. Obviously being a market, it'll probably be quite expensive to start the first three years, but it's a 2000 model, it's an automatic, um, it's a 1.5 or 1.8, I'm not so sure power wise, but I know it's 1 point something, but on, on top of that, it's also been, I know the age of 25, I can actually withdraw it, so it should be fine. It's a single wheel, obviously, being a secured car. I'm not sure it's affected what these are, I'm not actually sure. Hopefully, we're not going to do that part. But I think it's actual petrol vehicle. But I think diesel and petrol are going to go at the same time when it goes. Because I can't imagine diesel going until at the same time until petrol goes. So basically you fuel vehicles as long as possible so basically the uh, fuel system itself is gone. But uh, yeah. 
Well, it's trying out wide, but I tell you, it's uh, not the Ultra and I got yesterday. 25 quid I'll pay for this. It's on it's on the 1950s. In the 1980s, maybe. So, yeah. It's a good little lighter. Worth the buy. You know, the 25 quid is in quite an almost part. It's set in pneumatic condition where it lays. It's got some few updated details like updated mics in the 